Chapter 7 Sir Tristram One day the king of Lyonnes went into the woods because he wanted to catch animals. He made a long journey, and at the end of the day he could not find the road home. His queen waited in their castle, but he did not come back. Where is the king? she thought. He knows that I am going to have a child. So the queen went out into the woods and looked for the king. She walked a long way and began to feel very tired. In the evening she slept under a tree. There her baby boy was born. I am going to die, she thought. I am very ill. She took the baby in her arms. Oh, my little son, cried the queen. I will give you the name Tristram. It means sad, and I am sad. I know I am not going to live, but you, my dear child, will be a brave knight when you are a man. The king found a way back to his castle, but the queen was not there. His men went into the woods and looked for her. They found the queen and the child under a tree and took them back to the castle. The queen told the king the baby's name, and then she died. For many days the king did not speak or eat. He will die too, people said, and the little boy Tristram will be our king. But after a long time, the king began to enjoy life again. Seven years later, the king of Lyonnes married again, and the new queen had a son. She loved her son very much, but she did not like Tristram, the son of her husband's first wife. One day, the queen thought of a plan. She made a drink for Tristram, and put some poison in it. He will think it is wine, she thought, but when he drinks it, he will die. She put the glass on the table, ready for Tristram. Everything is ready, she thought. Good. But the Queen's son came into the room before Tristram. He was very thirsty, and he drank from the glass. Then he fell on the floor and died. The queen tried to kill Tristram a second time. Again, she put some poison into his drink. She put the glass on the table and again waited for Tristram. This time, the king came into the room. He put his hand out to the glass of wine, but the queen cried, Do not drink it! The king suddenly remembered his second son. There was poison in his drink. Then he understood the Queen's evil plan. You wanted to kill Tristram, but your son drank the poison. So you tried to kill Tristram again, but I nearly drank it. The King was very angry. Make a fire! Take the Queen and put her in it! He shouted to his men. But when the fire was ready, Tristram came to his father. He fell down at his father's feet. Father, do not do this. Take your wife back. Love her, and she will love you. She hates me, so send me away. Then you will be happy again. So Tristram went to live with his father's brother, Mark. Mark was king of Cornwall. He loved Tristram, and Tristram loved his uncle. He was happy there. When he arrived there, Tristram was a boy. Some years later, he was a strong, brave man. The King of Ireland also had a son, Sir Marhaus. Nobody could fight him and win. One day, Sir Marhaus came across the sea to King Mark's castle. I am the best and strongest knight in Ireland. Send a knight to me, and I will fight him. Then you will see. 
not one of King Mark's knights wanted to fight Sir Marhaus. Then Tristram went to his uncle and said, I am not a boy now, I am a man. Make me a knight and send me. I can fight Sir Marhaus and win. King Mark thought for a long time. I do not want to send you, but the other knights will not fight him, he said. So the king made his brother's son Tristram a knight, and Tristram got ready for the fight. Many people came and watched the two men. They fought with their swords all day. Sir Marhaus was strong, but he was older than Sir Tristram. He was not as quick on his feet. He could not hit Tristram. The sun was hot, and Sir Marhaus started to feel tired. Tristram's sword cut through Sir Marhaus's helmet and killed him. His men took the dead man away to his ship. Sir Marhaus also wounded Tristram badly in the fight, and the young man was very ill. There was poison in the wound. Nobody could make Sir Tristram's wound better. After some time, an old woman came and looked at it. She said, Ah, the poison in this wound came from Ireland. Send your knight there, and somebody will make him better. So King Mark sent Sir Tristram in a ship to Ireland. Sir Tristram used another name, because he killed the son of the King of Ireland. On the ship, Sir Tristram looked out at the green sea water. Birds flew in the sky. He took his harp and began to play a song. He played the harp very beautifully. When his ship came near Ireland, the king heard the sound of the music. He asked Tristram to his castle because he wanted his daughter to play the harp. Where did you get that wound? the king of Ireland asked. Some bad men fought me on my journey, said Tristram. He could not tell the king about his fight with Sir Marhaus. I will ask my daughter, Isolt, to make your wound better. Then will you teach her to play the harp? Yes, sir, said Tristram. The king told his daughter about his idea. I will be a good student, father, said Isolt. She carefully cleaned the wound and stayed near Tristram's bed for many days and nights. Then, when he was well again, Tristram taught Isolt the harp. She enjoyed playing it and learned well. They were very happy. Tristram liked Isolt very much, and she liked him too. Isolt knew another knight. His name was Sir Palamides. He loved Isolt and wanted to marry her. He asked her again and again. She did not like him, but he did not listen to her. One day, there was a big fight between the great men and knights in the country. A lot of people watched these fights. The knights were on the horses, with swords in their hands. Sir Palamides wanted to fight. He had a black helmet and black clothes, and he sat on a black horse. Tristram had a white helmet, white clothes, and a white horse. The two knights began to fight. Sir Tristram moved quickly and hit Sir Palamides with his sword. The black knight fell off his horse onto the ground. Then Tristram stood over him with his sword. Leave here. Do not speak to Isolt again, or I will kill you, he cried. After the fight, Sir Tristram went back to Cornwall. He told his uncle about Isolt. So, Isolt is beautiful and kind. I can marry Isolt, and then the King of Ireland and I will be friends. It will be good for our two countries, King Mark said. Ask the King of Ireland for me. 
so Tristram went back to Ireland. King Mark wants to marry. Will you give him your lovely daughter, Isolt? He is a good man, and he will love her, Tristram said to the King of Ireland. <laughs>